the Philippines, and Indonesia, have been friends for a very long time. Their shared historic roots are deep, and dates back to ancient times. Historical records highlight Austronesians, now known as Indonesians, as crucial early settlers in the Philippines. Filipino culture clearly shows Indonesian influences, indicating a strong connection between them. In short, Filipinos and Indonesians are brothers, sharing a deep and common history. In the past, they connected through trade routes, exchanging goods and ideas. This sharing and learning created a strong bond between the two nations. Their friendship began with these exchanges. Despite the migration of other races to the Philippines, such as the Malay and the Grido, the relationship between Filipinos and Indonesians remains strong and has grown stronger as they continue to understand and support each other. Today, the friendship between the Philippines and Indonesia is crucial. When they team up, it's not just about benefiting their own countries. It's also about making ASEAN better and more harmonious. Currently, the Philippines and Indonesia are good trade partners. However, there's room for improvement. They exchange products and services, leading to substantial growth. Yet, there's potential for further enhancement. The current leaders of both nations aim to strengthen this partnership even more. The total trading volume of both countries reached $10.31 billion in 2021. In that year, Indonesia, the largest economy in ASEAN, ranked 14th in the Philippines' trade, exporting goods, worth $1.18 billion. Meanwhile, the Philippines was Indonesia's eighth-largest trade partner. It exported goods to Indonesia, valued at $9.21 billion. Here's a fun fact. The Philippines is currently the fourth largest economy in the ASEAN. It has the fastest GDP growth rate of 6.5 to 7.5 percent in the ASEAN. It is anticipated to surpass Singapore and become the third largest economy by the end of 2025. Moreover, projections suggest it will outpace Thailand, securing the second largest economy in the ASEAN by the end of 2026. In the following year, 2022, the total value of bilateral trade between Indonesia and the Philippines reached 14.39 billion United States dollars, marking a 57% increase from the previous year. Although detailed 2022 data is pending, we know that $11.4 billion of the $14.39 billion is Indonesia's export value to the Philippines. This implies that the Philippines' total trade export to Indonesia is only $2.99 billion. Clearly, there's a glaring significant trade imbalance between the two countries, and both governments recognize this. They are committed to addressing this huge disparity. So, what does the Philippines export to Indonesia? Currently, the Philippines exports to Indonesia include the following. 1. Integrated circuits, such as semiconductors, microchips, and memory chips, with a trade value of $418 million. 2. Coconut oil, with a trade value of $100 million. 3. Copper, with a trade value of $64.3 million. 4. Motor vehicles, motor parts, and car and motor accessories, with a trade value of $64.1 million. 5. Office machines, such as printers, scanners, headsets, and office furniture, with a trade value of $60.8 million. 6. Video displays like LED monitors, TV screens, and smartphones, with a trade value of $26.1 million. Among others. And, what does Indonesia export to the Philippines? Currently, Indonesia's exports to the Philippines include the following. 1. Coal briquettes used as fuel in power plants, with a trade value of $2.46 billion. 2. Cars, with a trade value of $1.19 billion. 3. Motorcycles, with a trade value of $805 million. 4. Palm oil, with a trade value of $643 million. 5. Coffee and tea extracts, 
with a trade value of $441 million. Currently, President Joko Widodo is in the Philippines for a three-day visit, marking his first official country visit for 2024. This highlights the immense importance Indonesia places on its relationship with the Philippines. These high-level meetings further solidify diplomatic relations, setting the stage for even closer collaboration. The Philippines and Indonesia have joined forces on shared objectives, particularly in the economy and defense. An example of this collaboration is the Joint Naval Patrol Initiative, conducted in the South China Sea. This joint effort aimed to secure shared maritime areas, enhance defense capabilities, and bolster regional security. President Widodo and I had a fruitful and honest discussion on regional events of mutual interest, such as the developments in the South China Sea and ASEAN cooperation and initiatives. The Philippines and Indonesia affirmed our insistence on the universality of UNCLOS, which sets out the legal framework that governs all activities in the oceans and in the seas. In a press release by Tempo, an Indonesian media paper, President Widodo emphasized, the Philippines is Indonesia's important partner, and our country's primary weapons system, Alutsista, is often bought by the Philippines. Indonesia's investment in the Philippines is also quite significant. The Philippines and Indonesia are proactively collaborating to enhance tourism between the two nations. Ongoing discussions aim to introduce joint package tours, specifically designed for European and North American tourists. The objective is to integrate visits to both countries seamlessly within their Southeast Asia travel packages. Drawing inspiration from the successful model in Europe, where tourists explore multiple countries in one trip, this initiative proposes a similar experience for travelers in Southeast Asia. For instance, European tourists booking for Indonesia could seamlessly include the Philippines in their itinerary before continuing to other destinations like Singapore or returning home. Furthermore, negotiations are in progress to eliminate visa requirements for travelers in select countries. Following the successful models of Thailand and Malaysia, this strategic move aims to attract more tourists by eliminating the need for a visa to visit either or both countries. This collaborative effort seeks to not only simplify travel logistics, but also increase the influx of tourists, eager to explore both Indonesia and the Philippines. Why is this significant, you may ask? This collaboration is crucial, because Indonesia and the Philippines presently draw tourists from different regions. While Indonesia is a favorite among Australians, drawn by its proximity and the allure of Bali, it hasn't gained the same popularity with Americans and Canadians as the Philippines has. The Philippines consistently records the highest number of tourists from the U.S. and Canada in the ASEAN region. Implementing joint package tours that include both Indonesia and the Philippines is poised to have a transformative impact. Australian visitors to the Philippines are expected to surge, and likewise, American travelers to Indonesia are anticipated to increase. Recognizing this potential, both countries are expanding their diplomatic presence. For instance, Indonesia has established a consulate office in Davao, and there are plans for an additional one in Cebu. Similarly, the Philippines has a consulate office in Manado, North Sulawesi, Indonesia, with potential expansion into Nusantara, East Kalimantan. This collaboration will lead to the introduction of more direct flights connecting the two countries, including additional destinations like Davao, Cebu, Clark, Bohol, Iloilo, Legaspi, Naga, Bacolod, Palawan, and Cataclan. The ensuing increase in tourism and improved travel infrastructure signifies a significant step forward for both Indonesia and the Philippines. As we end this journey, remember, the Philippines and Indonesia are crafting a future of shared success. Together, they're building a strong friendship and prosperity. Here's to the bright path ahead in the heart of ASEAN. If you find this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button for more insightful content like this.
Stay tuned for exciting updates.